Dáte tady knihovnu? Tady? Jo, tady je, Nevíte, jestli tam je free wifi a... To tam asi bude. Jo? Jo. Ne, jo. my friends today is a really beautiful day and we are off to yet another adventure we are going on a bike from Prague to Lake Mahač it's like uh, 70 kilometers far away so let's see how far we can get uh, before sunset all right guys I'm not sure about traveling with Brompton and a huge 85 liter backpack because all my weight is on the rear wheel and I'm really afraid that I might get a puncture anytime soon and my back is killing me oh and by the way i bought a new rear mirror which is completely useless first the mount doesn't fit the brompton uh, handlebar and that is why this is completely useless because i don't see anything behind me don't buy this kind of mirrors buy the one that you have to install it into handlebars and it should give you a proper rear view the next thing i bought is new led lights the front light and the back light the reviews were like five star reviews and it was like you will get blind if you look into the light and yeah it's really bright it's like 400 lumens and it was really cheap too i paid uh, like 900 check rounds for both of the pieces and it should last like 24 hours if you put it on uh, flash mode which is essentially enough because it's bright and you need to be seen so far we are still following a dedicated bike trail road is pretty calm not much cars we'll see once we get out of Prague so I made a little hack as you can see I moved the sleeping bag from the rear rack and attach it uh, to the front uh, handlebar it's uh, not holding very well but at least the weight is uh, a little bit shifted to the front so let's see what else we can come up with now we are officially out of Prague yeah I love the calmness of this cornfield. It's just nothing but nature. It's beautiful. Oh, nice. There's a place to sit. I love how we circle around those small villages. Houses that people built here. It's like a Czech dream to have a house outside Prague in this area. Let's speed up a little bit. We are way, way behind the schedule. I'm so glad I see other cyclists on this route because it's just the proof that uh, this route is very popular and if anything happens then I'm not alone. This part route is really weird. I feel the cold wind as well as a hot wind. So one second I feel the fresh wind and the other second I feel like I'm uh, like in a hell. Finally a downhill. Check this abandoned farm. It look abandoned, but I actually see there are cows inside. So yeah, and there's a sign of no trespassing. Waking up cigarettes smoked and it's back to these hopes of me packing out crowds. Used to keep heading the clouds, reaching for stars as I break down some loud. Then moving so slow like I really need more, but them thoughts that I see not allowed. Like how I could reach and perform so foreign to me while I'm swamped in this crowd. I need them VMAs, this in my DNA. I ain't no deity, but I still contemplate. So it looks like we might sneak into this area, but uh, not during daylight. We would have to just go the other way to get to that object. Otherwise, this is truly classic farm in Czechia. There I see some chickens and that's basically it. Wow, a nice lake. So beautiful guys. People are fishing in this part of the river. So this is the part of uh, Elbe, the river that goes through Czech Republic. There are some people that are planning to go on the raft, which is a great idea because uh, the water on Elbe is pretty calm. I be on top my shit like toilet seats and plungers. Still gotta introduce my new bitch to my baby mama. Can't waste no time, no I'll English speak to me in numbers. Got tax all on me on display. I went and spent the budget. Fuck it, they talk out in public, said we won't be nothing. Came from now. Okay, let's see. Yeah, a little bit expensive. Let's keep going. No Malinovka and everything like uh, five check rounds more expensive than near Prague. This bridge is tough. 
especially with my 85 liter backpack. So now we have to ride for four kilometers through this forest. Tumbling stroke, flipping the globe like a bad trip. I'm at the stove, superimposed. I hope this is what I'm seeing at pop. Go full amalina pomelo grab. Right, this is what I need. So, finally a pop after 25 kilometers. And this one plus pomelo cost 65. It's quite cheap. So cheers. So off we go again after a short break. We still have close to 50 kilometers ahead and I have to come up with a plan B where to uh, take an overnight stop. And there are not a lot of options. Okay guys, I have to admit that sometimes you just have to let your ego go and just push your bike. But man, for the last 10 kilometers going through this frequent, very busy road, and the road is not the widest, I just hope that we can make it there safely. Wow, look at that scenery. Those warm colors are really suiting. I accepted that uh, we won't make it to Lake Mahach today or tonight. And the plan B is to ride as much kilometers as we can and look around the route for good spots for an overnight stay. And believe me, this is really tough because we are in the middle of nowhere. There's literally nothing in between the villages, just very, very vast fields full of crop. So ideally, we would pass some forest, but the nearest forest is like close to our final destination. So I'm curious if we manage to find something, something safe to spend the night today. But man, so far I'm enjoying this uh, trip because I'm more and more confident riding uh, on the roads. Cars actually try to avoid you and they give you, if not 1.5, then 2 meters of space. So, yeah, that's good. And there's a pile of dirt. Ooh, that smell, man. But that's like complaining that uh, the sky is blue, right? Man, I have to admit that those small Czech villages are really magical. Just look at this building. And that's just, just a kindergarten. I bet the life here is really good. There's a nice pond and this is the main square. Another grocery store, get another chance to refill the supply. So we will stop here and take a pause. Sit your ass on me. Won't you close? You've been gone for a little. I've been bad. Thinking. If you I noticed that every village that has more than a few hundred uh, residents have at least one uh, grocery store. And welcome to Borec. Wow, after almost 30 minutes of nothing, we finally reached civilization. But man, my backs are killing me. This village is so small, they have a church, but they don't have a pond, they have just a empty pool. Quick status update, it's past 8 p.m. and there is still plenty of sunlight which gives me hope that we might arrive to a, some kind of a forest before Doxy, before midnight but we will see when I was in Riga and I was there at 10 p.m. and there was still plenty of sunlight I mean it was so absurd, so bizarre being on the beach at 10 p.m. and yeah if I would choose to cycle through northern countries, then I would have whole day for cycling, which sounds exciting. Ooh, last downhill before a huge uphill again. <laughs> so we are, might be very close to Kokosinsko, a nature park in Czechia. I like how these roads are totally empty. Guys, it's getting cold. I think it was a bad idea to leave my hoodie at home. And I'll just straight it. There we go. Guys, do you see that hill? 
on the horizon might be a great pit stop. I love how you can see the sun on the horizon and it's how it's going down. It's so magical here in the rural areas. And I'm still wondering what's there on this hill. Now we are deep in the woods. Still 11 kilometers until Doxy and it's already 10 p.m. I think we can make it at least before midnight. But I'm thinking that we should find a spot to camp. And what is better place to camp than in the forest? I just need a flat ground and uh, two trees. So far I saw a lot of uh, active wildlife. I saw some deers that were scared because of us. I hope that there are not any bears. Man, it was a long four kilometer downhill through deep dark forest. I feel we are getting closer to the lake because ah, it's freezing. It's freezing, man. Okay, I had to take a break because wearing a 85 liter bag on a Brompton for a whole day is doable but not sustainable. I have to always put it down. We still have like one hour and a half until midnight and can already see the stars. Hell yeah guys, we made it to Doxy. Yes! So this is the square, it's 11 p.m. It's totally empty. Whew. Everything's closed. So I think now it's time to find a place to sleep. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe I made it. All right guys, so it's past midnight and I found this spot deep in the forest. I tried to get to the shore of the lake, but every space nearby the lake is owned by the camps. So it's all uh, fenced and I could not find a way to the shore. So at least told myself to not travel further and just camp here. As you can see, this is my sleeping system. I have a hammock that is hanging out between those two trees. I found out that you need at least three to five meters. Otherwise it will just sunk down as you sit on it. So yeah, it took me quite a long time to fiddle with this thing. So what now? I think I will eat something, then charge my stuff and go to sleep. Because we don't want to get unwanted attention. There's are people in a camp nearby and they might wander around and I already hear weird sounds in this forest so yeah i have some eggs i have some peanuts all right time to eat mm, so good this is my first time camping in the woods with hammock no tarp yet I'm still learning. So far so good. But next time it would be better if I can set up my sleeping system in less than 10 minutes. But I'm glad that I can just sit here and enjoy these eggs. It's half past midnight. It's not that cold. I think it will be colder in the morning. But I will try to sleep with my shorts and only in uh, baby. No sleeping back. So the plan for tomorrow will be get early, pack everything up and then try to find a way to a shore. But I think it will be difficult because everything is owned by those camps. But I will try. I will try. Uh, I will take my bike and circle around Mahaj Lake. I also brought peanuts. It's my most favorite high density nutrient food. But those are roasted, not salted. If you are on keto, you can uh, function on these peanuts all day. Mm. Not bad. Okay, 
right guys it took me a while to snuggle into bv so this is how it looks like inside a hammock so i think it's time to say good night and see you in the morning good morning it's 8 a.m it's pretty cold as you can see uh, i had to put myself into a sleeping bag and i woke up like a thousand times during the night it was so cold i think i had like maximum two hours of deep sleep otherwise it was like um, listening to the mosquitoes and, and then to the birds the whole night man so this is how our spot looks like it's a pretty good spot as you can see we went pretty far away from the main road but yeah I missed the sunrise but anyway I cannot sleep anymore so I will wake up okay guys off we go again we are leaving the camp I didn't realize that we uh, went to a camp last night I thought that we are going off but actually the whole area is part of the camp yeah so we didn't pay a dime for staying overnight and uh, since I didn't manage to catch the sunrise I think now it's time to uh, get something to eat so we are going back to the city center and we are going to find some cheap eats in Doxy okay guys I think I found a perfect restaurant for a lunch we are at Heller restaurant actually the only restaurant that has a truly good price if you compare to other restaurants in uh, this area most of them are really high premium that belongs to the hotels this one seems pretty nice for just 145 check rounds check this out you will get a soup risotto and a dessert it's a great deal i think eating some proper meal would help me to explore the areas nearby i think there's some few viewpoints that i want to cover today some in the west side of the lake and of course we have to visit the beach yeah because that's the main reason we are here uh i think it will be amazing yeah a fresh kofola wow so refreshing guys we got a, a soup a potato soup check this out Wow, there's plenty, right? Mm, it's hot, it's really hot. There are some mushrooms, carrots, uh, and of course, potatoes. It's great, tastes good. So, this is another meal the risotto with the cheese and uh, cucumber. There should be meats somewhere inside. Yeah, this is how it looks like. Um, well, uh, I have no expectations, so let's see how it tastes. Tastes like risotto, a lot of rice. So that means that a lot of carbs, which means I have to cycle a lot today. I see they put uh, paprika here very unusual I think um, for the price for this location it can fill you up oh, the way. Yeah. and we got the dessert a pastry and inside you have the cooked uh, apple it's very sweet I love this I love this dessert Whew. I'm totally full but we still have a dessert to finish sweet guys there's a white string of hair can you see it holy shit uh, yeah this is kind of disappointment mm. so watch out for hairs in the desert you never know well I cannot complain for such a um, low price Okay, energized by the lunch, we are ready to go to Doxy Main Beach. So I wonder if it's a bait or not. But wow! Damn, it's so beautiful! Wow! 
So this is the end, really. The restricted version press. Maybe they will do a, an article about the starting of the season. Okay, so this is it. We are at Mahach Lake. Look at this beautiful place. This is huge. We are at the public beach, the main beach. There uh, is plenty of activities you can do. You can take a boat or you can spend your time at the beach. The water looks uh, incredible. It's uh, a little bit green, but I think it will be better if we go to the beach. Uh, should be a five minutes walk. On the left you have uh, the places where you can uh, take something to eat. It's still early. It's uh, afternoon, so there are not many people. The sand is uh, really high quality, I have to admit it's white and there's not many trash in the sand, which is great. Mm. I'm so tempted to take a dip into the water. There's a mini golf over there. But bad, if you didn't know this is a lake then I would totally believe that we are at the seaside. So let's go to the end of the beach. Um, yeah, and then go back and uh, let's come up with the next plan because I thought that we would cycle through this uh, area. But actually, it's not possible. There are beach volleyball courts there. All right, did you see it? She did uh, a backflip, wow, on a trampoline. <laughs> Check this out. Wow, nice backflip. And this view is even better, nice. This is closed and, okay, there's toilet. And this is the end of uh, the walk. Wow. It's so peaceful here. Okay, I think it was totally worth it. Wow. Fly. Say, I'm not trying to be your nigga, you can be the side chick. Look, I saw you peeping at the party. One eyebrow up, the other one was naughty. So, there is just one thing left, and that is we need to explore this trampoline. <laughs> That's <laughs> quite wobbly. Okay, guys, I took off my shoes, and man, it's burning. So, let's take a walk along the beach. Let's dip our feet into the water. Yeah, one of the cleanest water in the world. <laughs> it's refreshing. <laughs> I think it's pretty shallow, but uh, I don't want to risk my camera. Okay, there's nothing guys, just an abandoned uh, restaurant. Uh, there's a mini golf, seems dated as well. This is how it looks like here. 
this is really the only lake in Czechia that gives you such uh, uh, seaside feeling and there's usually a summer music festival Mahač 2022 which is uh, one of the largest underground electronic um, music festival in Czechia I check those prices at the local restaurant you pay the premium to be able to eat on the beach a beer 60 a piece of meat uh, 180 so we are leaving the beach and I think I will cycle to that hill there as now we are circling around the lake Mahaj and as I'm looking at the hill up there I don't think I can uh, make it in one hour so maybe next time Man, so far the west side of um, Mahovo Lake is so boring guys it's just this road uh, full of cars along the forest and there are two viewpoints on the right but you have to leave the bike outside and go there on foot Choo choo Let's check this train for kids I tried it once, I think it was in uh, Croatia. Yeah, it's better than walking. I was just looking for a library and I got the shuttle instead. So we are looking for a library. I hope they will have a free Wi-Fi and a power socket. Oh yeah, it's great. So after being thrown out from my library, we found another place to chill. A pastry shop at Main Square that has both Wi-Fi, power socket and delicious ice cream desserts. We chilled there until we saw dark clouds on the horizon. So after delicious ice cream, uh, I think it's time to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, as you can see on the horizon, it will be raining for the whole week. I'm so glad that I managed to travel here while enjoying the sun. So see you in the next video. I be on top my shit like toilet seats and plunges Still gotta introduce my new bitch to my baby mama Can't waste no time, no I blow English, speak to me in numbers Got tax all on me on display, I went and spent the budget Fuck it, they drunk out in public, said we won't be nothing Came from nothing, now we're keeping something French and hell and Dutch is out the